Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Scatter Scratch. I'm D. This time we're doing a connected trader. Just lots of stuff laying around, parts, pieces, broken things. Um, loving doing this. Um, this is going to be the last one for a little bit because I'm going to get a big project going on that I'm going to talk to you about later. This piece um, goes on my hive board. Uh, it's meant to fit right on top. I'm so excited about this one. Thanks for stopping. Uh, let's get into it. All right, a little stop motion again. Like I said, just big piles of junk. Um, I think I cut two things off sprues, the, uh, the column and the two little platforms on the end there. Uh, the rest is all just in the bits box or have been used already and broken from something else. Full spin, take a look here. Now the connected trader um, is in the book of the outcast. There is several under Hiver traders. I think there's four of them. This is the one that's going to be on the bottom. Um, uh, the fourth selection. Uh, here's the book for it. Um, one of the things that this particular guy did was he um, he brought trading between the games to actually be legal in the game, which is really cool. Um, so here comes the decorations. Uh, we're going to get a sleeping bag, a little grill up there, um, and then just piles of crap everywhere. Um, I have tons of it all over the place. Really happy I got the spinning going on here. So uh, yeah. He's, um, he gives a big bonus um, for buying items. So here we go to the priming real quick. Um, you have a highlight, then we're gonna uh, do some inks and some paints just to get it to where my hive looks. Um, so with this one, uh, no oils. Um, it, it didn't need it the way I'm looking at it. So this is all just metallics. Um, I will get back to you guys in a second. Okay, so the reason that I didn't decide to use any oils, um, I got some new stuff from Scale 75. Uh, they're called Ink Intensities. I got uh, pretty much the full line. Um, and it's the first time I was using them. Uh, and boy, did I use too much red. Wow. Um, they really do live up to their uh, labeling. These things are a total, total coverage. Um, but they pretty much work better than, uh, yeah, here we go. With the green here, I managed to actually get a drop. Um, there's, uh, yeah, you need a drop to do this whole piece pretty much. Um, don't need very much. I mixed it with medium with the black coat, uh, and I did a little test here. Um, the top part of this is going to be using the ink, ink, uh, ink intensities by scale 75. The middle area is going to be Basilicum Gray uh, GW Contrast. And the bottom I'm just gonna do with Nguyen Oil. Um, you can't tell the difference between any of them. And I just used a couple of drops of this intensity. Um, pretty excited about the whole thing. Um, I'll be back in a second. Okay, looking pretty, pretty good right here. But as you know, I gotta turn up the juice a little bit and I did it with weathering powders. Mm. 
little bit of time here doing some graffiti and poster work, and then the rest of it is just weathering powders. Um, I didn't use any fixidents or anything for it. Um, didn't think it needed it, to be perfectly honest. Like I said, this is scatter terrain, so it's, you know, if you don't make it absolutely perfect, you know, every time, that's, you know, okay. That's the point. This gets put on the board. You know, whether you use the trader or not, that's up to you and your gaming group. But, uh, yeah, I think this was absolutely sufficient. Thanks a lot for stopping by again. Next project, we're going into the sump. Um, I'm gonna do something with the wall. Not entirely sure what that's gonna be yet, but uh, you know, thanks for stopping. Uh, appreciate all the uh, the views and the likes and the comments. You know, you can ask me anything. Um, have a great night. <laughs>